the character of Titus is, he's a young, aggressive, excited um, young man. He wants to be right in every situation. He wants to be the hero. When I prepared for that, uh, I just drew from my own life, I think, especially because I can totally relate to the way he reacts to things. I tend to react and then go, oh yeah, this is probably what I should do in the situation. So that's kind of how he takes life and, and, and takes his, his life in this game. Well, Titus and Yuna, I think when they first start off, they're at two completely separate ends of the world. And they find out, I think, throughout the story that they have a lot more in common than they think. And she tends to be very calm and cool. And Titus is much more aggressive, much more excited. He's ready to go. And she's more of a thinker. But she teaches him so much. And it's really a love story, I think, between the two of them. That's what the essential storyline is, is his love for her and him discovering that love and, and vice versa. I think that Titus is driven by her being so calm and collected. Uh, it makes him more aggressive and he seeks the truth even more and he seeks to pull that excitement out of her. He wants to see her as, as excited about things and as energized as he is. And so I really tried to give some some loving pushes to the, the character when they're in relationship with each other to say, come on, let's go. Hey, you know, it's exciting. And, and she's like, okay, I'll get excited, but in my time, so. There's like 9,000 lines um, of dialogue, which is really amazing. There is a lot of dialogue, which is really different from any other game that, uh, that I've ever experienced. Um, and on an average, there might be like, say, for a regular animation thing, there might be 300 lines, I guess, total, 9,000 lines, uh, so many different paths to turn in the game and so many different ways to go. Uh, there's, there's so much there. Well, there's some, there's some great memorable moments in this game from, for me personally. There's a scene where uh, Yuna teaches Titus to laugh because he's so serious and he's so, you know, he's so set on his mission and he gets so caught up in his emotions. And uh, when he's laughing, it's, it, was, it, was, it was fun to do and it's, it was fun to watch because we actually did that to picture where I got to watch Titus the character doing this and, and me adding to it. And so that was a lot of fun and very memorable. There's also some real emotional moments that are very memorable in it um, where Titus finds out uh, some information about Yuna that is uh, shocking to him and he has to deal with it because he has no other choice but to deal with it. Um, and if he wants to be a hero, he's got to take on these responsibilities and these emotions and they're new emotions for him. But uh, he handles them well and it's a, it's a breathtaking scene as well. The animation in this, literally, when I first saw it, uh, we, we had to spend some time where we had to stop for a while where I was going, this is amazing animation. I kept just saying over and over, I can't believe this animation. I would say to the people that are playing this game and have played all of the other Final Fantasy games that this is, in my opinion, the most exciting, the most uh, visually stunning, and to take the time to go through and get every aspect of the game. Now, it could take hours and hours, but it's gonna be a lot of fun, and uh, it's a learning experience, it's a, it's a growth, and you know, not to sound corny, but you'll learn, and you can become possibly a better person because he, this character, Titus, he learns and he becomes a better person through it. And if you can really get involved in the story and get wrapped up in it like most of us do, I get involved in stories, you should, uh, you should grow from it as well.